Welcome to Electronic Geek. In the last video, we saw what a demultiplexer is, its application, its construction using basic logic gates, and we also simulated the circuit on Tinkercad and we verified our results. In this video, we will be making 1 is to 8 demultiplexer using 1 is to 4 demultiplexer ICs. So, let's get started. So, to start with uh, designing our circuit, we will be needing the components first of all. So, there are many various ICs which can be used. So, but uh, in this case, we will be using a 4052 IC, which is an IC that can work as a MUX or as a DMUX and it supports a 4 is to 1 MUX operation or 1 is to 4 DMUX operation. So, let's select that. We will be using this 74HC, place it. So yeah, uh, this particular IC is a dual channel IC that means uh, there are two such pairs which can be used either as a MUX or as a DMUX, a 4 is to 1. Okay, so uh, other than this pin A and pin B are the select switches and this INH is the enable pin and uh, if you read the data sheet then uh, this enable pin is supposed to be grounded or if you say that this is an active low pin so this needs to be connected to ground the ic will be operational only when this enable pin is uh, pulled to ground and uh, yeah so coming to the block diagram as to how we will design our circuit uh, see this yeah so uh we will be needing two such stages of 1 is to 4 DMUX and uh, we can also connect these particular pins this S0 can be connected with this and this S1 can be connected with this S1 now uh, there are two options over here which uh, like which particular DMUX have you, you have to select so we can either use a 1 is to 2 DMUX or we can uh, make a a circuit with a NOT gate that at a time only one particular uh, IC will be operational so any of the two things which can uh, can be done it depends on your situation if you have uh, if you are supposed to use only uh, demultiplexer ICs then uh, you will have to go like this or else if uh, using NOT gate is fine then uh, we will be preferring that so either of the two things can be done in this particular video, we shall be doing it with a NOT gate. So, we will be placing another IC over here, like this, and uh, we will be needing a NOT gate. So, P7404, hc 0 for this one. Select this, we will be needing toggle switches. this one and LEDs for seeing our output we using the red LED so this one okay so yeah all the things have been done and uh, let's start with enable pin so at a time only either of the one IC will be operational so select the logic switch toggle switch and uh, place it here like this connect it take a NOT gate move this now I am supposed to connect this particular wire to this but I will be avoiding and making on page connection like this double click right click place wire label uh, the name I am keeping is INV just for inverted and uh, click double click right click and INV this means that these both uh, wires are connected so now when this particular input is low that is zero this ic is on 
it is operational because this enable pin is active low and this will be off because the inverted output that is one that is high logic input will be fed to this so this IC won't be operating okay so now comes the switching part these A and B are the two select switches so use a logic toggle connect it connect it right click and place in net label as a S0 sorry S0 for pin 10 and S1 for pin 9 same over here click double click right click S0 and uh, same for here S1 now same similar to this also these two pins are also connected with this one now as we are using this uh, with a demultiplexer uh, what we need to do is we will have to provide logical inputs over here so uh, okay place this right click x mirror and uh, like this and connect it to y so this is done and what we now need is LEDs so LEDs uh, we can place it right click rotate move connect it go to terminals mode select the ground place it name this net as ground and it's now simple just go on placing the LEDs sorry also the last LED is pending right click So yeah, all these particular four pins have been connected and the same thing is supposed to be done over here. Here we, uh, the di only difference is here we will be connecting the LEDs to the Y inputs as uh, the data is given to the Y. Okay, So as simple right click, do the same thing. take up like this
and uh, same for here mm. okay no other option left so this yeah so we are done making the schematic and uh, it's time for simulation part so let's start the simulation and check our results right now this enable is zero this means this particular ic is operational and this is not so we will change the data line input sorry see the led is glowing and that too on pin number x0 so it is correct now uh, let's change the inputs make s0 as high see the next is glowing now take this off and sorry yeah and even for this see all the outputs are uh, as expected and uh, let's change this particular uh, input see now as these both are high we are seeing the output on the last led that is by 3 and changing this will be uh, see resulting in other inputs sorry other outputs sorry yeah so this is it thus we have uh, verified our results but uh, now comes the next part why did not i use these y pins too i could be using this y pins too but the problem was if i would be using then uh, the x0 and y0 would be glowing at the same time there is no separate control for uh, x channel and for y channel so that was the reason why i uh, uh, made my connections like this and used the second ic i could be using the uh, x channel over here too does not make any difference uh, you will be getting the same uh, output and uh, it you can verify it by doing so so this is it thank you for being till here thank you so much please do like share subscribe and do give me your valuable feedback in the comment section thank you for being till here thank you so much